Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a mid-2020 comeback review. We have been fed so many bops throughout the first half of 2020 and I'm going to be voicing my opinions on them. I would love to hear your thoughts on these songs, as well as your favorite song of 2020 so far. Anyway, let's hop in, enjoy. This song is my favorite title track from Itzy Hands Down. I loved it after the first listen, and although it was similar in structure to Dala Dala, it was still a bop. Literally everyone and their mums were breaking their shoulders in an attempt to do Ryujin's shoulder dance and that proves how iconic this song was. The outfits were amazing, the choreography is amazing and every aspect of this song is amazing. In conclusion, yes. I didn't like this song at first but after a few more listens I just found it to be okay. I was never a fan of Luna's songs, I can't get into them for some reason. The song could have been better in my opinion. The music video was beautiful and the bridge is the only part in the song I like. I prefer Butterfly in terms of choreography and the actual song. The music video was stunning and one of the best I've seen. The song was amazing, but am I surprised? No. iZone really doesn't know how to make a bad song. The whole album was immaculate and probably my favorite album from 2020. Some of my favorite tracks from the album would have to be Ayayaya, Spaceship and Open Your Eyes. The choreography for Fiesta was nice, just like their other title tracks. I can't wait for their upcoming comeback. Stan I Zone. I wasn't the biggest fan of this song at first listen but it grew on me slowly. Honestly, this song disappointed me because I expected something new and better than Adios. Adios is my favorite title track from Everglow, I just love it so much. The music video was good, but I felt like Adios 1 was much better. I feel like E you should have had the solo dance break since Mia was in the spotlight so much and had many lines. It was kinda weird how Yuren had to lip sync to Mia's part in the chorus too. Anyway, this song is still good regardless, but I just hope we get something to wow us in the future. I was really looking forward to this comeback, I remember I couldn't stop replaying the teaser as everyone looked so god damn good in it. However, I was underwhelmed as the song wasn't bad but wasn't great either. I thrive for Miyeon and Yuki's pre-chorus but the chorus simply isn't my style. I also wish the other girls besides Soyeon, Soojin and Minnie shared the chorus. This music video was simply art and has to be my favorite from them but not my favorite title track. I felt that the choreography was lacking something and that it wasn't great. Showa's lines are literally the same as her lines from Lion but just with different lyrics. Overall, this song was okay. Han is still their best title track period sorry I don't make the rules. The music video was so gorgeous and the storyline behind it was amazing as well. This has to be my favorite comeback of theirs, the song was Chef's Kiss and they really show how they have their own orchestral sound. 
I love Sin B's intro to the song and I love the part in the chorus where Yeren holds onto Unha's arm and she does the pointy thing, iconic. I loved this song a lot at first listen, A Pink never disappoints. The choreography is iconic, especially at Nian's part where they link arms and do the thing, you know what I'm talking about. They literally smashed the Korean charts and I'm so proud of them. I still prefer Ung Ung and I'm so sick more, but Doomdurum is still a bop nevertheless. Scream is another one of those songs which I loved from the very first listen. The choreography is stunning and the gesture they do in front of their faces in the chorus is iconic. This song was on replay for the longest time, I love everything about it. Gaeon's rap with the mask, oh my god, that was so iconic. Literally where is their first win? Where? Where? Anyway, let's pray they get their first win eventually because we all know that these hard-working girls deserve it. Even though this song isn't an actual comeback, I'm still going to talk about it. Stay Tonight isn't bad, I'm glad she's experimenting with new styles of music. The choreography is amazing. I love how she's like a flower blooming at the beginning, and the part where she lies down on her backup dancers and moves along with them. Anyway, Chungha never disappoints, all her songs are bops and that's on period. Can't wait for her next bop. This song was very cute, but I prefer their more mature concepts such as the fifth season and Remember Me. However, this song is still amazing and very catchy. They nailed the concept perfectly and left Korea shook. This comeback did very well in Korea and it's what they deserve. The chorus never fails to make me dance and the music video and its colors are so pretty. This isn't a song I would listen on loop to but if my playlist shuffled to it, I wouldn't skip it. This was definitely Mimi's era, just take a look at her, her hair and her amazing rap segments throughout the song. I felt like this song was empty and that it would have been perfect if it was longer and if the chorus was shared between Lady Gaga and Blackpink. I wish the chorus was just not Lady Gaga talking but instead one where she sings, for instance in Kiss and Make Up. Blackpink literally all sound so good and Rose killed this song. It's like this song was made for her. I prefer Kiss and Make Up but Sour Candy is not bad. I feel like this was a good debut. All the members look confident on stage and they definitely don't look like they just debuted. They're also already singing live on their stages. The chorus has to be my favorite part in the song. One word, perfection. I was not disappointed at all by this song and it goes to show how Twice is becoming bigger and bigger by the minute. At first, I found the chorus a little weird when they shout, more and more, and I felt that the dance break and rap part was out of place. The song eventually grew on me and I love it heaps. My favorite part has to be Sana's pre-chorus, she nails every song. I feel like this is Sana, Daehyun and Momo's era. Nayeon and Mina's intro is also iconic, I can't stop singing it lol. Momo killed the dance break but what's new? I love how they incorporated a storyline into their music video, and I hope the story continues onto their next or future title tracks. All the members look absolutely stunning in more and more, thank you JYP for feeding us so well. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you felt about these comebacks in the comment section below, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. YG better give us a Blackpink teaser now or I will book a ticket, fly all the way to YG's headquarters in Korea, and find him.